Hello everyone, welcome to TLT Studio Basic Math Series. Today we are going to look at math variables. Now a lot of persons get confused when they are doing algebra when they see X and Y. You know, they, they get confused as to what the, the letters represent and all of that. Alright, so what we are going to do today is that we are going to clarify that for you. Alright? So, a variable is a letter used to act as a placeholder for an unknown number. So, when you look in, when you look on an equation and you see a letter in it, what the letter represents is an unknown number that you don't know that you're supposed to find. Alright, and I'm going to show you with an example in just a bit. Alright, now... Let us walk through the, the example that I have, alright? Now, say for instance, today we, we own a store, right? And after, after the store close, we need to find what the total profit we make, alright? Now, on a daily basis in the store, we sell X amount of goods right also my other source of income would be coming from the tip that we receive from the customers the generous customers all right now because these values that i am going to get are totally different every single day so there there's not a set figure on a given day to say okay me gonna receive x amount today or x amount today so that's the reason why you have variables all right now x will represent store items and t will represent tips all right now what we're going to find is total profit so this is the equation. So x plus t equal total profit. Now all you're doing is putting in the values for x, putting in the values for t. Alright? Which is 10 plus 15 equal 25. Alright? So you understand what these values represent all right or better yet what these letters represent so these letters are variables because these the value of the letter can change at any time cars for instance what if tomorrow we get ten dollar instead of 15 right ten dollar instead of 15 then then, then this value here would change. So it would now be 10 plus the value of t, which is 10, which would equal 20. All right, so that's, in a nutshell, that's what it is all about. So let me show you on a more practical um, equation now, all right? equal 20 right all right so looking at this right here what this means this means that there's two multiply by an unknown number all right two multiply by an unknown number and when we add a four to it it is supposed to equal to 20 so that's pretty much what x is doing 